Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com. And when I got my Bebop uh, 2 a year and a half ago, almost two years ago, I uh, ruined the battery because I forgot to take good care of, the f of it because it was a LiPo battery. LiPo batteries need to be well taken care of. So anyway, uh, that's when I decided to just use the balance charger that I already had for my RC planes and uh, charge my battery with it. And I never had any trouble after that. And then, uh, so I'm the guy that uh, <laughs> that uh, says everybody should be using a balance charger. If you want your battery to last longer and stay in, in good condition, that is your Bebop 2 battery or your Bebop to power battery that's what I'm referring to so uh, anyway when I uh, in uh, March of uh, let's see January February March of uh, 2018 I got a bebop to power and it came with two batteries and I thought aha so uh, there's been some folks that uh, disagree with me whether you not whether or not you need to use a balanced charger and so I thought well I'm gonna just check it out for myself and see if they're right or if I'm right so I put together this uh, chart that you see here, and it, it, uh, it's going to take me a, quite a while to do a study. I've only had it uh, since March, and this is uh, just the 1st of June. So it'll take a while, but this, this uh, chart right here is a record of uh, using my two batteries. For instance, uh, uh, straight out of the box, the, here's the... Oh, by the way, I put some tape on one of the batteries so I wouldn't get them mixed up. And I call it the control battery. And then uh, the other battery is what I call my test battery. The control battery is going to always be charged on the Bebop charger that came with the drone. The other battery, the test battery, is always going to be charged with the uh, balanced charger that I have. And so uh, the two between the two, as time goes by, I'll be able to tell a little bit of the difference between the two. Um, and whether it makes a difference, whether it's worth my time to use the balance charger. So uh, that's what this chart this chart is about, and uh, I like to study these kind of things out. I'm not going to make this video very long, but let me explain. In the in the Bebop battery, you have uh, three cells, and when you charge them up, each has a voltage of, uh, uh, well, actually the maximum voltage I think you can get is 4.4 volts uh, fully charged. And uh, then the minimum voltage is down just a little above three volts. And so you only have about a volt, a little more than a volt difference between a full charge and a, a, a discharged battery. If you go beyond any of those limits, you'll ruin the battery if you, if you discharge it too far. So there's not a whole lot of difference between full charge and uh, uh, discharged. So anyway, so we, this is battery number one and battery number two, and uh, it doesn't matter what you call it. But anyway, this one is never going to be charged with a balance charger. I do use the balance charger to measure the resistance in it. So let's take a look at some of the other things. The, uh, the, the ohms of resistance, the milliohms of resistance, go in this column. And when I first started, I wasn't measuring ohms, so it doesn't show up until further down in the chart, further down here, like right right about there okay <clears throat> so that's when I started measuring ohms the HL stands for high and low in other words the the highest of the three batteries the highest voltage and the lowest voltage so that's the difference these numbers should be low uh, if your battery's in good condition if they get if they get further apart that means your batteries you got some cells that aren't charging right and uh, so then uh, the the difference between one cell and another gets uh, gets greater okay so you got the high and low and you got the ohms and then uh, same thing on the the other battery and then over here this is where I record the flight time of the battery and I get that when I go to um, the uh, uh, flight data manager and of course that shows right up here that that this particular one I'm looking at was 13 minutes and 29 seconds I also get the, the minimum uh, percentage of power in the battery when, when I was through flying with this uh, on this flight, there was 61% left in the battery. Okay, uh, so that's the the flight data manager. The um, that's where I get that information. So that goes in the percentage of power and the flight time. And then I divide the percentage of, 
of power left by the flight time and that gives me these numbers which should be low uh, uh, the higher the number the uh, the less efficient was the flight and of course these aren't very accurate because on the flight that I made uh, on the video I made of me trimming the bush all the drone did was sit there and so it didn't run the battery down nearly as much as when I uh, did a flight plan that lasted that went for uh, over two miles and I flew around the cement plat. So uh, that number uh, then would be a lower number because it was a more more accurate way to measure the two. Anyway, over here on the right hand side, uh, by the way, these colors, these different colors in the columns are explained over here on the right hand side. Um, when you, when you um, fully charge uh, your battery, uh, the, these batteries, these LIHV batteries, uh, if the if the full charge comes up to 13 or I'm sorry 13.05 uh, to 13.06 they show up in pink or red and uh, if, if from 13.06 to 13.07 they show up in blue from 13.07 to 13.808 uh, or more um, they show up in yellow. Now that's not very much difference. That's a hundredth of a volt. But when you're working with a, a full charge of a, a little more than one volt from a discharge, then uh, that hundredth of a volt makes a difference. So if you look down through here, you can see one thing I'm finding already is that a balanced charger charges up the, uh, the battery to the full amount and, uh, uh, or a higher amount than the, uh, the Bebop charger. So Anyway, this is what I put together for me, and uh, I have a link to it so you can kind of watch it as time goes by. But also, I have put together one that you, I have put together a web page that you can create an account and start your own chart, and uh, you can create as many accounts as you want. And on, on, on those particular, uh, in this particular one, you can, you can, like measure the difference between uh, an old battery and a new battery, uh, between a uh, Bebop battery and an aftermarket battery, uh, or any comparison like I'm doing. If you have two brand new batteries and you want to test and see which do the same study I'm doing. But anyway, you can log in, create account, and as time goes by, see how your batteries are doing also. And this is all free. It's just available for Bebop people that uh, want to want to watch their batteries close. So anyway, this is available, and I'll put a link to the bottom. And uh, as time goes by, this is going to take a while. As time goes by, I will find out for sure whether a balanced charger uh, does a better job in taking care of my battery than the, the charger that comes with the, uh, with the Bebop. So anyway, uh, I hope this has been helpful. You're welcome to use the, uh, the services that I provide on my website. They're all free. Uh, and uh, thank you for watching, and God bless you.